Hello, uh, I'm Richard E. Smith and I'm the Photography Resource Centre Manager here at Camberwell. Um, the Resource Centre itself comprises of a uh, digital darkroom area, which is specifically for BA Photography, and we have a photographic studio, um, black and white darkrooms and a colour darkroom. The workshops here encompass a vast range of photographic processes from digital, digital capture, from the studio, through to darkroom processes. During a workshop like Black and White Film Development, we teach students um, the motor skills in terms of loading this film into spools in the dark. Right, now remember you're going to be doing this in complete um, darkness, so you need to be able to use your other senses, so you need to feel for the film, okay? So I put two fingers on there, and then I feed the film through, holding it like that. Now there's nothing on the film at the beginning, so don't worry about that. And also they gain an understanding of the chemistry, of um, different aspects of the chemistry and what they're doing to the film. Okay, so you can check yourselves, but I, I recommend that you stick to the four minutes, because I only change it once a week, and I, um, you never know how many people have used the actual fix during the week, so. The workshops that we provide are done with small numbers, um, with a maximum of eight, so that we can give very hands-on help with all those that are participating within the workshop and that we can uh, assess formatively uh, their abilities um, with the equipment and that they understand what they're trying to do. Now with these particular negatives, what would you think Forget about the one in the middle, because that actually is not a very, um, very nice negative. Go in here. Go through. Push it down. Put it in. Turn this right. Turn it right. And make sure that it terminates so it clicks. Okay. Notice how the light comes on, the readout starts to count down, and when it gets to zero, it turns it off. Uh, one of the biggest um, areas of digital technology at the moment, for example, is the convergence of video and still imagery. And we're starting to see people taking stills out of video imagery and then working them up. And again, they could be printed with a 19th century process. So these changes um, bring about whole realms of new possibilities that uh, students can explore.